So which gorilla pod is right for you? That's the question. Stick around for the answer. So I was going to start out this video by asking, should you get a gorilla pod? And if you do, what size should you get? But I ditched the whole should you get a gorilla pod thing because I really believe everyone should have one of these things. Whether you're shooting photos and videos with a small smartphone or a big heavy DSLR, this is the kind of thing that I think really everyone should have, uh, really mostly because of the flexibility, both literally and figuratively, the flexibility of a gorilla pod uh, is really pretty cool. But the question is, which one do you get? As you can see, I've accumulated a few Gorilla Pods over the years. So I'm gonna go through each size with you and show you exactly you know, how much weight they hold, uh, the way I use them, and you know which one you should be getting when considering which Gorilla Pod to have. So the first is the mini tripod. This is the, it, the new model is called the Grip Tight One. This is an older model, but it's basically the same thing. It's really a, just a tiny, lightweight, little tripod. And it's got the same flexible legs that all the Gorilla Pods have, which is really a great feature. Uh, when you're using it in an environment where you don't have a flat surface to put it on. Uh, but this is really great for smartphones. So if you have a little smartphone holder, I took this off of a selfie stick, uh, you can just screw this right on top, it goes on real quick. And then you just take your smartphone, put it right on here, and boom, you have a little tripod for your smartphone. It's great for video, it's great for pictures. You can use it and hold it like this and use it as a selfie stick if you're in a place where you can't use selfie sticks. Uh, you can use it for that. It's really great this size for a smartphone. It's not really 100% stable. It wiggles around a little bit, but you set it up, you leave it alone, it works great. It holds the weight for something like this. Even for a small point and shoot uh, digital camera, it works great for too. I'll screw that onto the top here. Uh, you can see how that works. This just goes right on. And for a really small digital camera, uh, this size, GorillaPod works great also. But anything larger than this, and you're really gonna want uh, a larger size. So the, the next three sizes, the three sizes basically that the GorillaPod has uh, are the 1K, the 3K, and the 5K. And the Ks basically refer to kilograms, and that's supposed to be the maximum weight that they hold. Uh, so the 1K uh, holds a kilogram, holds 2.2 pounds. Now, I have no idea how much my camera weighs. I honestly don't. So when I look at tripods and things like that online and I see the maximum weight, I have no idea what it means. My camera, depending especially on what lens I'm using, weighs a lot, it weighs sometimes less, sometimes more. I have no idea how much it weighs. So I really wanna go based on you know, using it myself and seeing how much weight it'll actually hold. Uh, so this is great, you know, the 1K is great for something like a mirrorless camera. Um, it's great for, you know, great for that. It holds the weight very well. You know, a very lightweight camera like that, it holds it very nicely. Um, it's great for a small DSLR. If you're gonna be using a small DSLR, this is the Canon T3i. Uh, I have the 50 millimeter 1.8 lens on there, which is a small light lens. Uh, you can, as soon as you set it up like this, you can feel it's not top heavy. It's weighted very nicely. Uh, and it sits perfectly like that. It doesn't shake when I bang it. it you know, freezes really quickly. Uh, so it's a really nice, sturdy setup for a lightweight DSLR uh, with along with a light lens. So one other thing I wanna mention, you know, you can see I'm screwing these right onto the bottom of the camera. You know, you can use tripod heads with these also, like a ball head or something. Uh, I never do, uh, I'll tell you why. You know, you can put a tripod head right on here, put the camera right on top of that. But when you do that, you're actually doing, uh, you're, you're moving the center of gravity even further away. Uh, so you're you know destabilizing it a little bit uh, by adding that by adding that on it. Now it gives you a little bit more flexibility as far as you know you can now use the ball head to position it exactly the way that you want it. Uh, but you know I can kind of manipulate the legs also to kind of do the same thing. I can move the legs up, down, bend them, and things like that. That you know the flexibility of the Gorilla Pod you know works right into that. So uh, you know it's that, and also you know when I'm if I'm going to add a ball head, you know now I'm going to add you know weight and bulk to my camera bag. And you know, the GorillaPod is a compromise. Uh, you know, if I really wanted stability, stability, I'm gonna use, you know, a standard, you know, conventional tripod. Um, you know, the Faisals that we use are very light, they fold up very small. Uh, and if I'm gonna, you know, really need that kind of stability and that kind of control over the shot, I'd rather have that with me. Uh, so the GorillaPod is a compromise 
in that you can have something really small and lightweight with you that you can use, which will really give you great stability to your camera. So that's why I don't use the ball head, uh, just because of those reasons. You can use it if you want to, I just don't like using it for that. So I always attach the camera right to the base of the GorillaPod. So if I'm gonna add a larger DSLR, this is the Canon 5D4. I have the Sigma 50 millimeter 1.4 lens on here. So this is a pretty heavy setup. Um, and using it with the 1K, you can feel it's very top heavy right from the beginning. Uh, I set it up, it's shaking. It's still shaking now after a few seconds. It's still shaking. Probably just from the sound of my voice, it's shaking. So you hit it like that, it wobbles a lot. It's not as sturdy as you want it to be. If you wanted to use this for something other than conventionally laying it on a flat surface, uh, you know, you wanted to wrap it around a pole or something, it's not gonna hold up the way that it should. Uh, you know, you can see it's already sagging there. Uh, so for the, you know, for the larger DSLRs, uh, you're gonna need something bigger than the 1K. So that's why we have the 3K. The 3K is supposed to hold three kilograms or about 6.6 .6 pounds, which this camera's probably, again, I have no idea how much this weighs, this camera's probably six pounds or so. So I can attach this right to the base, and now it already feels much sturdier than it did with the 1K. So this is the 3K, and it's only a little bit bigger. It's not any heavier. These things are almost weightless. They're so light. Uh, but this gives it much more stability than I had before on the 1K. Still a little bit of wobble when I touch it, but it, you know, it freezes up and locks up pretty quickly. And if I wanted to do something like hang this sideways or something from a pole, uh, you know, it's gonna give me much more support than the 1K. Not perfect but more support than the 1K. But for me, the, the 3K is kind of in a weird in-between place because you know, it holds a lot of weight, but it just doesn't feel as stable as I feel like it should feel. Uh, so I really want something more than that, and especially if I'm gonna be using even heavier stuff than this, like big lenses or something, I really want something bigger. So for me, the 5K is definitely the way to go. So I'll show you that. We'll screw this right to the base here. Now this is solid. This thing is not moving. When I set this thing up, it's gonna stay exactly where I put it. It doesn't wobble at all. I can put it at odd angles. I can, you know, really twist one of these legs down like this. It's not gonna to start to sag in any way. It really, really holds its shape perfectly, even with a heavy DSLR and heavy lens like this. So I use this 5K a lot, I really do. Like I said, it's, it's so lightweight that I can just throw it in my bag and have it there. It's a little bulky, uh, but just to kind of have it in the bottom of my bag this way, if I ever need it, it's there. It's great in so many different situations, especially when I don't or can't have a tripod with me. You know, you can put this in all different positions. You can hold it out sideways like this. It's gonna hold its shape, you know, all the way out like this. This thing's not moving at all. It's not sagging at all. This thing is keeping its shape. I use this a lot for, for vlogging. If I wanna hold it out like this, it's perfect for that. Uh, this really, really holds the heavy gear very well. And by heavy gear, I mean even heavier than this. So if I wanted to put something really heavy on here, let's see how that looks. So I was gonna put the 7200 on here, but I figured if I'm gonna demonstrate heavy gear, I'm gonna put something really heavy on here, which is the Canon 300 millimeter 2.8 lens. So I'll put the camera right on the back here, and you can see even a really heavy, I have no idea how much this weighs, but I'm telling you, I carry it around a lot and it's heavy. A really heavy setup like this is perfectly stabilized. You can see it's wiggling around a little bit, but give it a second and it stops. This thing is not budging once I have it set up like this. So this is a really great alternative to a conventional tripod, uh, even for really heavy gear like this. You can see I can hold it up like this. Again, this is really heavy, uh, but this thing is not moving, even if I'm holding it in all different positions. These legs hold their position. You can set it up, you can shoot like this. It's really great. It, you can feel how strong it is. You can feel how sturdy it is. That's why this 5K, this GorillaPod 5K, is really the one for me, because I know it's not gonna wiggle, it's not gonna move around, it's not gonna sag halfway through the shot. It's gonna keep its shape and keep something like this from moving around, which is really pretty great. So, what do I recommend? I recommend, like I said, everyone get a GorillaPod. Just get one, but which one should you get? You know, the basic uh, you know, mini GorillaPod, uh, it's about 15 bucks. Uh, it's perfect for smart, I just get one. It's perfect for smartphones, have it with you. Uh, it, just have one of these. So you definitely wanna get one of these. And I'll put links to all of these 
uh, in a description below. You can check them out on Amazon. The 1K, if you're gonna be using something like a small mirrorless camera or a small DSLR with a light lens, the 1K is perfect for that. It's definitely gonna do everything. You can see how small this thing is. And I'm telling you, when I say it's lightweight, it weighs nothing. Uh, so to be able to just slide this into your bag somewhere to have it with you, uh, the 1K is perfect for that. The 3K, if you have um, a bigger DSLR with maybe a smaller lens or a smaller DSLR with a heavier lens, like a 2.8 lens, uh, the 3K will be good for that. Like I said, this, this is one for me is kind of like in an in-between spot. Like if I'm, if I'm gonna go bigger and heavier, I'd rather go all the way and go for the 5K here, which is what this one is. Um, so like I said, the small mini one is about 15 bucks. The 1K is probably about $20 you can get for now. Uh, the 3K is $40 or so, and the 5K is about $80, $85. I'll put links to them below, like I said. So definitely check them out on Amazon. You definitely wanna get one of these. If you're a shooter like me, if you're shooting with DSLRs, big DSLRs and lenses, just get the 5K. It's perfect for all of that stuff. It's perfect to have with you. Uh, in a ton of different situations. And like I said, I have no idea how much my gear weighs, uh, but I know what it feels like when I put it on something like this. Uh, so I know that this something like this is gonna keep it perfectly steady or whatever these other stages along the way, if you have gear comparable to what I showed you here, you know exactly what you need in your Gorilla Pod. So I hope you found this helpful. Uh, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. I hope you did. And that subscribe to the channel and definitely click on that little notification bell. This way you get notified every time we post a video. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time.